Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at Judy Lee jewelry. The vast majority of it only sells between the like the five and where are we stuck here? There we go. Um, about thirty dollar price point. Th these uh, prices out here are usually lots of jewelry with items in them that are not Julie Lee. Um, but there there are a few in here that that do get up to about two hundred dollars, and we're going to take a look at those. What I will say is, um, jewelry or Judy Lee was sold at parties at one point in time and some of those materials are the same materials used by um, other people like uh, Elizabeth Mori um, and I will point those out when we get there uh, this one I don't believe was uh, this was the highest selling piece of Judy Lee jewelry that I saw within the last 90 days um, it was described as Gripwa. that is a type of um, I believe it's French or Parisian um, glass. They, they kind of form a paste and then melt and pour it, I, I believe. Uh, I usually would not use something like that as the main photo because it, it might be confusing to people what they're getting. Uh, th this really would have been a better one, but um, that is, uh, you know, nice green glass. I don't quite know why it went for 185 other than um, it had the earrings with it. Um, we are going to see that brooch by itself later, um, which will help us to get kind of an idea of what it's worth. But um, the earrings and the brooch were signed, and that was a great sale for or from uh, old costume jewelry. Um, we're going to try to go in order from the top to the bottom here so this is one thing I would be concerned about uh, this is unsigned costume jewelry and I've seen this stuff before and I don't know if you uh, at what point is it Judy Lee jewelry because um, if somebody else sold the same stuff how do you know under what name or what catalog it was bought under right because it has these patent numbers on it and uh, I, I don't know Th these might have only been sold under the Judy Lee catalog but um, if it was something that Judy Lee ordered from another company it would be really difficult to know at what point something becomes Judy Lee jewelry if it's not signed um, this is a good example. So Elizabeth Mori, she bought the same materials from, I can't remember what company it is. I think th I, this might actually be Swarovski Crystal. I, I'm not completely sure about that, but um, it, it's actually qu quite big. <laughs> I, th I thought that they were smaller than that. Um, but I would imagine these probably are signed Judy Lee. Let's just see if we can determine that. Um, but you, you can also see this signed as Elizabeth Mori. So in that case, it's a little bit different, but um, I, yeah, I can, I can see it right there. Oops. Yeah, you can see that 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 is a Judy Lee mark. So I, I would be comfortable calling it uh, Judy Lee. This actually was ended by the seller and did not sell for $160, but um, I, I did just kind of want to bring that up that, if you're looking at an item in a catalog and the jewelry matches that doesn't necessarily mean that that is who sold it originally um, this is kind of a similar situation you know this well is that signed uh, I don't think it is um, but the, I mean, this is really unsuspecting. I have seen stuff like this before, not as the full set with the earrings. And um, if it was not really a Judy Lee item, I don't think that these would really be worth very much. Um, but they did sell a hundred for $140. A $700 would have been too much. But um, yeah, that that is a curious sale. So it's, it's important to be aware of things like that. Um, and that, <laughs> that's pretty much why we're do, doing these videos because if, if you go to estate sales and you're able to recognize something even if it doesn't have the mark on it that, that's going to give you a major leg up um, I don't know if I already mentioned this but I, I would dollar for 
um, Judy Lee jewelry signed or not um, it just most of the pieces are basic and easy to find this I've never seen before but um, it's also being described as poured glass which I'm thinking is the same as the Gripois um, but you know it's not signed so because there is a strike through here we will never know what was paid for this other than because we're going in order we might be able to guess that it's C but even this this item is higher up in the search but then then sold for $128 so even that doesn't really work but I would imagine it sold for a, a, about $125 when you see the strike through that usually means that um, a, a lower amount than what is printed was what was paid but um, if if this person counted with $125 it might still have the strike through through it but um, this is a good item this this multicolor rhinestone glass with like the red green yellow and um, blue if there's blue uh, it is still popular even now and people do look for that it doesn't have the have to be the most vintage piece to sell this was one of the more interesting pieces that I've seen. I don't know if I've seen anything like this before. Um, I would imagine that that is faux mother of pearl. They probably had to pour that into a mold. It would have been too difficult to carve all of that, I think. But I could be wrong. Um, but I do believe this is signed. Yeah, there's, there's a Judy Lee mark there. Um, and that is quite a good sale but you know as you can see even with um, earrings necklace and bracelet we're still in, only looking at about hundred and thirty dollars the next one here so this is a good thing to keep in mind the, that teal stone was used by Judy Lee quite often and it's 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 called high dome and um, it, I wonder if they wrote that here. I, I don't sell it. <laughs> bullet, bullet. Um, and that looks like uranium glass. Um, so there is some Judy Lee with uranium glass in it. Um, if you take a black light, try and take a strong black light. Uh, if, if it's too weak, it might not show up. And if you still can't see it, you can go into the dark. If you get the... And I think I can see... A, yeah and, and these are signed um, if you if you can't see if you have like a weak black light if you go into the dark you should be able to get some fluorescence on a uh, piece of uranium so this was described as harlequin harlequin glass which really is just opalescent glass I, I'm not really sure why they referred to it like that but oh well they, they wrote opalescent harlequin glass it's kind of redundant um, I think these probably sold for what they did just because um, they are in good condition. They're not missing any stones. There are no other photos, which is interesting. It still went for $115, and it, uh, somebody bought it for the asking price, and there was only one bid. And here... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here we do see them describe this as high domed. I actually have a picture, I think this one right here kind of shows you a better idea of what it looks like. And I think that this, oh, it's not signed. That's easy. In, oh, there we go. It's right there. So actually, maybe some of these pieces were signed and it was just too small to see it in the photos. But um, anyway, this is worth about $100. So there, you know, I was expecting that green glass brooch to be. Oh, here it is. Okay. Um, so here, just on its own without the earrings, it's worth about $100. So those earrings are worth, you know, about, you know, 60 to 80 um, When you have the full set, that doesn't necessarily add to the value. Sometimes people think that they should get a deal because they're buying more. Um, there were 10 bids on that. That's pretty good. Um... But yeah, sales have been kind of slow the, the first five days of November. Like, I'm down about 50% from what I was last year, but um, it a lot of times people spend money on Halloween <laughs> that they don't have, and until they get paid the following payday, things can be kind of slow. 
Um, so we do see some uranium glass here. I would always test that because looking at it, it kind of just looks like green glass to me, especially those center stones, but the stones around it probably are uranium. Um, I wonder if they had a picture with the black light on it. Let's see if we can find one. Um, I think that that is the signature here. There we go. And let's just see if there is, oh, here we go. Right, so the stones around the center stone are, are uranium glass. Be careful when, so right now there are rumors that on eBay we're not allowed to be selling uranium glass and that all uranium glass is going to be taken down. Um, I think that it has to do with, um, th there was something about uh, um, coal and eBay selling things that they weren't supposed to and getting fined by the EPA or something like that. Um, I think, oh, looks like I got stuck a little bit. Um, anyway, uh, this went for, we don't know, $85 or less, um, and it was described as peacock blue. So these are kind of neat. I, I would have thought that this could have gone for a little bit more, but um, let's see, were these signed? Yeah, they, they were signed, and with a pair, I, I don't know. Maybe it, it's just worth it to clear the item for, for some people, but it is difficult to find um, Judy Lee and complete sets with you know no stones missing and no issues, but um, that was a good deal for <laughs> whoever got it. Um, anyway, that, that would be a good item to look for while you're out. Um, but I don't know if, if people are going to crack down on uranium or not at eBay. I, 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 we're still kind of waiting to see what's going on with that. Um, so this is kind of interesting. It's similar to what we saw. It has multicolor rhinestones around the high dome, teal, blue, green stone, and then the, I think the faux pearls are new for us, but it's kind of interesting. Um, you know, $90 or less is what it went for. And let's see. So we've got a necklace set, blue rhinestones. Um, you know, this is actually quite nice. Now, here's the thing. Uh, this... Uh, that chain style is supposed to be coral. <laughs> not not real coral, but um, like a, an artist's idea of what coral looks like. And Trifari, I think, also... I, I need to think about who... I think it's actually Napier. What does that say? Oh, it does say Judy Lee on it. Um, but anyway, so be careful with materials like that because a lot of people were doing a, a similar thing. And instead of r those rhinestones, you'll often see like faux pearls. And it was supposed to be, you know, like an ocean themed pearls in the coral reef. But, um, you know, $95 for that. That was a good sale. Um, I actually wonder if they could have gotten more, but that was what happened. <laughs> I wonder if we're going to see something similar here. So, yeah, this is kind of similar to what we saw, but um, without the coral. And, and again, this is necklace, bracelet, earrings. So just because you see a set like this at an estate sale, you shouldn't necessarily pay up for it. Um, there were only four bids, and... Um, this type of style in vintage jewelry is not, you know, particularly unusual, um, and you know it's not a very attractive piece, but that that's about what you would get. And we've seen that one. We just have a couple more left here. Um, so this panel bracelet, I I don't having a little bit of technical difficulty with the microphone for some reason. Yeah, and it was signed Judy Lee there. Um, so if you see this, you know, you can pick it up for a dollar or so. Um, that would be a great return on your money. And these were the last ones that I picked. Uh, you know, again, good condition. Um, a set is hard to find without any missing stones. It only went for $75, but if they waited, they probably could have found a little bit more. Um, if you found this video interesting, if you could please click the like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.